good morning or good evening or good afternoon okay, welcome back to the la cruz engineering video tutorial and the topic for today is the design of compression members on the steel design okay so the specific topic is we will compare the um, the design on NSCP 2001 and the updated NSCP the 2015 or the 2010 they have the same code provisions lang. and we will do here the compressive strength for flexural buckling members without slender elements okay so I uh, take note without slender elements iba yung my slender elements now which is more very complicated yung code provision okay and we will not talk it here kasi masyado siyang mahaba board exam type lang tayo okay I think to lang yung ibibigay sa board exam without slender elements okay let's start situation a wide planche 12 by 279 column is pin supported at the top and fixed at the bottom and it is laterally supported at its weak axis at half of the length of the column the column length is 12 meters and carries an actual dead load of 2000 kilonewtons okay we have fy and given yung properties the geometric properties and also binigay sa problem yung effective length factors okay so walang problema now the questions are determine the allowable actual live load of the column using nscp 2001 and the same problem the same questions sa number one dito but to use asd on nscp 2015 or 2010 and dito naman lrf LRFD to use 2015 or 2010 NSCP. Okay, so let me show you the summarized code revision on NSCP 2001. Okay, so according to this section, when the slenderness ratio, the maximum slenderness ratio, um, do not exceed the limiting slenderness ratio, our FA is ito. Okay, so ito yung binigay sa code. And of course, ang inahanap ito is live load, um, actual live load, meaning force. So if we can calculate the stress, multiply natin by area, we can calculate the nominal load. Okay, so um, main mission talaga natin is to calculate the allowable stress, FA. Okay, so this will happen if the slenderness ratio is lesser than the limiting slenderness ratio, CC. Okay, where ito yon the lambda is the ratio of the maximum slenderness ratio divided by the limiting and ito yung factor of safety okay now on the other hand if this exceeds the limiting slenderness ratio according to the section okay our fa will be eto um, actually this is the euler critical buckling stress lang okay and it is divided by the factor of safety that is 23 over 12 lang. Okay, so walang problema yan. Just follow lang this step. Unahin talaga natin yung slenderness ratio. Okay, and then CC is given by the code. Ito yung binigay sa code. Okay, 12 pi squared E over FY. So generally, this is a short column. And ito naman, if lumagpas yung slenderness ratio, that will be a long column. Okay, so first step to calculate the slenderness ratio the maximum slenderness ratio okay um the b uh, i mean the column is pin supported at the top and fixed at the bottom okay so um in this problem it should check natin yung slenderness ratio about the x and the y axis okay so look at this so it is laterally supported at half of the length meaning this is six meters and six meters din dyan. okay so considering this buckling about the major axis or the strong axis okay so we are looking at the side view dito okay and if we look at the cross section we will be considering the buckling about this axis x axis okay so i calculate natin yung slenderness ratio about the x axis now if you look at this if mag apply tayo ng load dito an actual load um, the lateral support will not have an effect of the buckling about the x-axis okay if you will imagine the elastic bending or the elastic curve ito yung mangyayari walang effect itong lateral support natin 
Okay, so the, to calculate the slenderness ratio about the x, that will be pin and uh, fix. Ito yung k natin. Okay, pin and fix on the other end. So the maximum, I mean the slenderness ratio of x is 0.7 times the length, total length, that is 6, I mean 12 meters or 12,000 millimeters divided by the rx, the um, radius of gyration about the x, of course. Okay, so we have the slenderness ratio uh, about the x axis. How about the slenderness ratio about the y axis? Oh, look at this. We will rotate this. Okay, so we are looking at this view. Okay, and also we are considering the ayan, the bending about the y axis. Okay, or the buckling. Now we have the lateral support dito, so inside view makikita natin to, in front view dito. Okay, so as you can see here, this lateral support will have an effect of the buckling ng ating column. Okay, um, if we will try to imagine, it will be like this. Okay, uh, it is supported here, so hindi ito magde-deflect laterally dito at this point. Okay, so um, the effect of the lateral support is assumed to be hinge or roller, meaning dalawang slenderness ratio yung kukunin natin dito about the y-axis because it um, the length to be used in KL over R is the laterally unbraced length, or meaning from support to support. Okay, since this is considered as a hinge support, so this is another length, and also this is another length. Okay, so if this is hinge, and hinge at both ends, our K is, or pin at both ends is 1.0. So, dito naman, that is um, pin and fix that K here is 0.7. Okay, so we will calculate the slenderness ratio of this length above and also as this length below. So, okay, for the first, let's call this SRY1. We are considering buckling at Y. That will be 1.0. Then, of course, our length here is 6 meters lang, L over 2, 6,000 millimeters. And divided by RY, of course, uh, we are considering the buckling about the Y axis. Okay, so to calculate that, that will be 69.50. Okay, how about dito? We will calculate this. Uh, we will do the detailed calculation talaga. Okay, actually, we, you need not, uh, you may need, need not to calculate this na because we, uh, as you can see, this, this will be the maximum, 1.0. But, um, in the purpose of teaching lang, dapat makita nyo. What if, kasi yung um, lateral support natin is hindi sa gitna. Okay, so my case na, ito yung mag-govern. Okay, to calculate that, that will be, KL over R, 0.7, length is half of the 12, then of course RY red. And that will give us 48.65. Now take note, the code um, specifies na maximum yung gagamitin natin. So ano yung gagamitin natin slenderness ratio dito? That will be ito, 69.5. That is the maximum slenderness ratio na gagamitin natin all throughout the solution na. Okay, so for part 1, so wala na problema dito. Part 1. Of course, um, ito step by step. I-compare natin yung SR max sa CC. So, we calculated the SR max. Then, the CC here. Calculate the CC. Okay, calculator na lang natin ha. So, the CC here is given by the code. That will be 2 pi squared. Um, ship pi squared ano yung e for steel that is 200,000 megapascal and divided by fy fy na binigay dito is 250 250 okay so that is 125.66 and as you can see that is lesser to this value meaning we are in this case case 1 Okay, so our FA should be ito. Okay, gets lang. In case, balik tad, so ito yung FA natin. Okay, first, we need to calculate this 2 muna. Okay, the lambda is the ratio of FY over, F, uh, I mean the FY, I mean SR max over the CC. Okay, so calculating the ratio of that, uh, mas mabuting isave nyo to or is store. Okay, that is the, the lambda. 
Now, calculating the FS. So, substitute lang yung lambda mo dito. Okay, substitu uh, substitution ng direct substitution dito. Okay, so, masundan nyo, nyo na yan. Now, we will calculate the FA na dito. FA is just 1 minus lambda squared divided by 2 um, FY over ES. And we have 114.28 mega pascal. Okay, so finally, we will calculate the nominal strength, axial strength of the column. And that is just force is equals to stress, which is ito, times the cross-sectional area. Gross, ito. Okay, so substituting. And that is the nominal strength capacity of the column. Now, take note, hinahanap is the axial live load. Okay, so here in NSCP 2001, walang factors na binigay dito. So, directly, the PN is equals to the dead load plus live load. Okay, so substitute. We have the dead load here, 22,000 NPL. And finally, this is the live load. That is the answer for part 1. And NSCP 2001. Okay, so disclaimer muna, this problem pala, pala is from the book of um, Structural Engineering by DIT Gilesanya. You can check it um, from that book. Check this out, okay? Okay, so part 2, determine the allowable actual live load due to um, NSCP 2015 using ASD method, allowable strength design. Okay, for part 2, ayun pa rin. That will be the same ga gagamitin natin all throughout na. But as you can see in the code, uh, medyo nagbago. Okay? So, the same approach rin. Parang ito is the CC in 2001. Okay? Ito yung limitation natin. Slenderness ratio limitation. Okay? When this, ha when this happen, ito yung FCR na. Yung uh, ginamit na notation. The critical um, stress. Buckling stress. Okay? When this exceed naman, the limiting slenderness ratio, actually this is CC lang. Okay, naiba lang yung formula. Ito yung gagamitin natin. And ito yung FE, dito sa formula. Okay, so medyo mas madali na lang siya compared to the 2001. Okay, madali siya because without slender elements. Okay, we, um, this is board exam approach. So ito lang yung i-discuss natin. Okay, so calculate this. Substitute lang, E is 200,000, FY is 250. So that is 133.22. And as you can see, that is lesser to this um, sl maximum slenderness ratio or the KLR over. I mean, KL over R, the maximum. Okay, therefore, the critical slenderness, I mean, the critical stress here is given by this formula. Okay, so let us solve first the FE the Euler's critical buckling stress. Okay, so Fe is pi squared times 200,000 and SR or KLR maximum is just 69.5 and we have 408.66 mega pascal. Then, substitute to this formula. Substitute lang. Fy is 250, Fe is um, 408.66 times Fy. Okay, take note, this is um, race, ha? This is a, an exponent. So, we have FCR here. Ayun, 193.53. Then, calculate again the nominal load capacity. The PN is stress times area. And if we substitute that, and this is our PN. Now, we will be using the ASD method. So, ganito yan. The allowable actual uh, the allowable actual strength is my um, factor of safety um, omega c binigay ito sa code factor of safety and this pa naman is just the dead load plus live load okay so walang um kan dito no load combination sa asd this is asd walang load combination na binigay dito ito lang my factor of safety yung pa natin i divide natin yan okay this is asd and this factor of Safety is 1.67. Okay, substitute. 1.67 in ASD, ha? Hindi ko na lang binigay. Okay, so that is dead load 2000 plus live load. And we have the live load here for 204 kN. Okay, so that is just very easy lang. Walang load combination sa ating allowable load. Okay ba? So, this criterion just, ano, 
says that the allowable load should not uh, should be greater to the actual uh, I mean to the actual load. Okay? So ito so for simplicity equal sign natin dito. And this is the answer. How about the LRFB method? So actually the same process ito rin din. Ang magbabago lang dito is this part. Okay, so look at this. So ito yung lang um, ditong sa last part lang yung magbabago, ha? Huh? Okay, so in LRFB, ganito yung sinabi niya. The design strength, actual strength phi PN. Oh, so parang sa RC lang no, may reduction factor phi should not uh, should be greater to the allow I mean to the ultimate load or the required load. Ayun. And PU uh, is given by the governing load combination 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load. So parang RC lang. Okay, so this is an LRFD method. And uh, fee subsidy to is 0.85. Okay, take note for LRFD that is 0 0.85. 0 0.85 times PN that is ito is equal to 1.2 of dead load 2000 plus 1.6 of live load. And here the live load is 4004.9 kilonewtons. Okay, so that's it. So, I think ganito yung ibibigay naman sa board exam. Okay, na maka masyadong harsh yung ibang variation ng problem dito sa 2015 NSCP. Okay, masyadong mahaba yung code. Well, if we are if you really want to be a designer, so soon after you pass your board exam, of course, we can design and we can also refer to NSCP. Hindi naman tayo pinagbabawalan na magbukas ng NSCP in actual practice na. Okay? So here, board exam approach muna. So ito lang yung i-discuss natin. Okay? So again, thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you soon again. So um, again, thank you and God bless. Stay safe.